Well, I wish I could tell you exact timing for lines of showers and storms over the next three days, but that's going to be almost impossible. It's just waves that'll be coming across from Alabama. Sometimes morning, sometimes afternoon, probably more heat of the day stuff we'd be more con concerned about, uh, you know, with afternoon daytime heating, but it's just going to be potential over the next few days. And you can see potential realized here as you get back in the southwest corner of Mississippi there. They've had some tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, but that's where the big threat is. It was a three. It's down to a two and a one now. Now tomorrow this shifts this way, but notice how it cuts off right here. And the reason being is because the line is of storms, not just tomorrow, but even Friday and Saturday, you'll see they kind of give up and sort of fall apart here. A different environment here than what's going on out there. And you can see for tomorrow, uh, this is going to be a level three there as well. And we're still in a level one tomorrow. We will get the Saturday outlook because the Storm Prediction Center puts out for three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's the three days. So we'll get tomorrow's uh, look for Saturday. Here's a look at the Wednesday into Thursday. Notice these storms that are out west trying to hold together, heading toward tomorrow morning, but then they kind of fizzle apart. Not totally. I think we could still get a little bit of rain. If we were to see anything, probably going to be around noon tomorrow coming into our western counties. And we'll see if any of this holds together. This is two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. And our southern counties may get in on some of this. And any threat that we see over the next few days, mainly going to be gusty winds and some small hail. Can't rule out a tornado, but it's more of just wind and, you know, small hail with some of these storms. And the timing is the problem trying to figure this out too. Midnight tomorrow night, maybe a little bit of rain. Friday, this is key. How much cloud cover we're going to see? Do we have any light rain going on during the day? That may change things for later in the afternoon if we don't get a lot of instability stirred up. Here's Friday afternoon, at least on this model run. It tries to show a couple of showers, maybe a thunderstorm as we get into Friday night. And then another line trying to come across late Friday night, fizzling apart. Here's another one coming across Saturday morning. And by the time it gets to us, it looks like it falls apart. So then it's like, all right, well, we're going to get anything out of any of these. Well, let's go forward into Saturday afternoon. We're going to have to go to the long range model runs for this. And you can see as we get on into this is two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. The GFS has it more south. Euro's a little bit farther north. So I think at this point, if we were going to see any strong storms or anything that really holds together, Saturday may be the day for that of the three days. Uh, but really all three days show the potential for rain, maybe a thunderstorm here or there. <laughs> Are you confused? Because I am. We're looking at upper 50s to around 60 in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, eh, some upper 70s, something like that. Depends on the cloud cover and any rain that we do see. There's a seven day. Yeah, so potential rain and storms for a few days off and on. Trying to clear it Sunday. We'll see if that happens. And then we'll go dry Monday, Tuesday of next week. Marvin J.